Now, WGEM Sports with Jake Bromholt. The Quincy University men's soccer team has been on a roller coaster these past weeks. Since February 28th, they've won three in a row. They dropped two and then a tie. Well, the University of Illinois Springfield was in town. Hawks, it's time to snag a W. QU Hawks looking to get over that double overtime tie against Lewis University that occurred Friday night. Not a good start. 17th minute, Prairie Stars. Quentin Reese finds a sliding Rory Carlson for the goal. QU down 1 0. Later, Chris Dots Calisees hang on to that ball. He lost it for a moment there, but gets it back. Now, let's head to overtime. A foul is called against the Prairie Stars. Free kick for Edry. Ceceris and he makes him pay your final from Legend Stadium two to one QU Hawks. They win in overtime. All right, way to go on that win. Speaking about that, QU head coach Samuel Thomas and his Lady Hawks soccer team ready to face their Prairie Stars. 58th minute, Lady Hawks are up 2 0. Junior forward Laura Crane, she's on the move. She's sprinting, she's got her iPod on, and she sends it over to senior forward Riley Hayes, who takes the shot on the goal. I got to check this again. Was that kicked in accidentally by a Prairie Star player? Oh well, the goal still counts for QU. Your final on the ladies pitch, QU Hawks shut out the Prairie Stars 3-0. From the pitch to the dirt, QU's softball team was home facing McKendry for the first time. Hawk fans, you were entertained by a pitching duel. It was all about McKenzie Collier in the circle. First pair cat takes a bench. Next batter, not a chance. Collier retires the side. The Custer Park Illinois product was on autopilot, throwing straight heat for six innings. The talented senior retired 10 Bearcat hitters on the day. Unfortunately, the Hawks are shut out five to nothing in game one and get swept in the doubleheader. QU falls in game two, four to one.